Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Grigori. Uh, I represent Prozoro sale, actually, not Prozoro. So uh, we do auctions, we don't do tenders. I will try to make it as quick as possible because it's uh, Saturday evening, so I guess everyone wants to go uh, further. And uh, what I want to tell you today, uh, I want to tell you how we develop the system which we run as an open source, um, which were our reasons to do this, which uh, pros and cons we had. Um, th that's it, actually, and what did work and what didn't work. Uh, uh, no? no, it doesn't work. Okay, so I'll have to sit here and press. Um, very brief history of uh, our project. So um, the first thing when it started, it is uh, 12, uh, um, 2014, uh, when the revolution has ran, uh, there was a big um, demand on on a trust, on a trustful services. And uh, one of the first things which uh, made under this demand, it was a procurement system, uh, which you know as Prozoro. Uh, and in 2015, first uh, legislation, first uh, MVP ran, and first uh, tenders uh, actually gone. Uh, in 2016, uh, another project team uh, decided to make a uh, new uh, system, actually auction system, our project, uh, based on the code base uh, which, is, uh, uh, which was represented by uh, Rosora system uh, procurement ones. In 2020, uh, we fully rewritten our uh, code base, uh, additionally to all the uh, tech depth and uh, things which we wanted just to implement. So the idea was to make it more clear for uh, the developers or potential developers who will be interested probably in contribution and, and so on. Um, for now, it is a successful project. We uh, gave over 50 billion grivnias for different uh, budgets for state and municipal. And uh, uh, this, this point is to tell you that uh, open source solution actually works. It works for you because uh, we, we, we think that uh, making good auctions, making good sales, uh, make everyone a bit uh, richer and uh, life a bit better. Um, just a few words how, how the system works. Uh, we call it a uh, two-tire uh, system. Uh, which means that uh, sellers and uh, buyers uh, do not um, communicate uh, with the uh, core system itself. So uh, if you want to buy something on the auction, you uh, cannot come to prozoro.sale and uh, ju just buy. Uh, you decide one of the marketplaces, these commercial services, um, which uh, you like more, which give you better service, uh, et so, and so on. And uh, this marketplace connected to our uh, core um, solution, uh, which we are responsible for and which we actually develop. And from the other side, the same thing. So you buy and you sell through uh, some marketplaces. Uh, which pros and cons uh, we had uh, thinking about uh, doing this solution open source. Uh, so let me start from cons. Actually, this is just one. Um, it is very hard to communicate with other state entities and describe why you do it uh, open source. Uh, come on, how you can open it? It's, it's impossible. You'll be hacked. You will, uh, your code will be stolen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, to be honest, we uh, ignore all these things and go in further uh, with with our ideas. Now for the for the cons. Um, sorry, for the pros. Mm, actually, not pros. Uh, it is more about our presumptions. So we had uh, three presumptions starting uh, this uh, idea with open source. And uh, I would like to tell you how, um, mm, which were there, and uh, did they work or not. So um, uh, first of all, as I said, uh, the all this history about uh, Prozora, Prozora sale, it started from the uh, lack of trust. So um, a lot of 
public services, which uh, were fully unpublic, which uh, Medea just said about. Um, they generated a lot of data. There is another war for open data, which uh, uh, activists uh, do. And uh, this data, uh, there is, uh, each day uh, you have more and more data uh, opened for you as, uh, as just a user, as just a system. But uh, there is uh, one thing. Why should we trust this data? Um, there is uh, like uh, no reason uh, to uh, believe that these numbers or these texts, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they uh, generated by um, without backdoors, without any changes, uh, and so on. So our uh, idea, our presumption number one, was uh, that open uh, source systems will be more trusted by the society and. Uh, uh, data generated by them uh, will be more trustful. Um, how do you think? Does it work? No. Yep, yep, it, it's true. Uh, we are um, like one of our uh, key selling points when we, uh, for example, implement some new markets, some new auctions, that uh, everyone can see not only the data itself, but uh, the code itself, and if you don't trust uh, our system, just go to the uh, repo and read the code and make your own conclusion. The second one, um, it's about funding. Uh, we believe that uh, public services, uh, which are written uh, by public budget, they should be uh, open source because and everyone should have a right to um, to use it uh, as as he wants uh, so uh, initial development of our service was uh, done um, with uh, funding of marketplaces so first five or ten marketplaces just gave some some amount of money to to run the very first version then we received uh, numerous grants from different international donors uh, nowadays, uh, we are self-funded uh, uh, and uh, we do not take uh, a copy from the, any budget for all these five years we run, but uh, we still think that uh, we are a public service, then it should be public. Uh, and our presumption, actually not a presumption, it's idea that uh, everyone should be uh, able to use our code. So you are welcome to take it and uh, use uh, as you want. And the third presumption. So uh, we have a big um, ecosystem around the solution. So uh, additionally to our company itself and uh, like over 40 marketplaces which are connected to our system, uh, there are a few other um, categories of uh, stakeholders who are probably interested in what we do. So it is uh, supplementary services which uh, provide an analysis uh, based on our data and uh, gives uh, buyers more information about what they can buy and so on. Then uh, it is a um, data source for, analyze, uh, for analytics, for uh, looking for some corruption, for looking for some optimization, etc., etc. And uh, there is social anti-corruption activists. So there are uh, media, some journalists who are interested in all, all that information. I have like a bot in my phone and I see each day some, some article where Rosario Sale is uh, named in, in some way due to some auctions. So uh, we had um, a presumption uh, that all these guys should be probably interested uh, in making our system better. So making open source, we allow everyone to contribute to the system. And uh, it's not about, uh, you know, like making a preserve sale better itself, but it is about um, making the system more comfortable for uh, me as a third party user who, for example, need better data model and so on. So we expected that uh, technicians from the ecosystem will contribute to the system uh, and uh, it will make it better. Uh, probably will be some profit for all the parties. So we were uh, open for this. And uh, how do you think how it works? No one thinks. Okay, it doesn't work. 
to be <laughs> to be honest, uh, we had like uh, three contributions for all that time, and all of them were from uh, the guys from development team who left the team and just uh, did some stuff uh, which they didn't finish. That's why I here I am. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, there is no contribution even from the parties who are interested in uh, development of the system. And uh, just a few conclusions from all of that, um, that this uh, code is interested only for us, I mean for preserve.sale. Uh, we uh, don't expect that in reality some business will take the system as is and run all auction system. Actually, we would be happy if this happens, but uh, I don't believe that it ever will, uh, will happen. Uh, also, there is uh, the reason uh, for, for this uh, that uh, our presumption number three didn't work is uh, that supplementary services like analysis, uh, marketplaces, and so on, they uh, do not do uh, their solutions open source. Uh, that is their decisions, it's uh, private business, we do not uh, like tell them how to, how to work. Uh, at the same time, um, I believe that uh, there is something which uh, could be useful for uh, publicity, uh, especially for uh, development publicity, because uh, we do some interesting things uh, from the technical point of view. We, uh, optimize some open source uh, solutions, some libraries, and uh, you can probably find something interesting in our repository, uh, which you could use in your solution if you write in Python. Uh, so uh, some parts of solution will probably be uh, useful for you as, as a developer. Uh, and actually that's it. I try to be as quick as possible, as I said. And the last one, I. Uh, was told that uh, you probably ask for the repo. Here it is. Nice. Well, thank you. <laughs> now we have a few questions. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your speech. Um, I want to ask: Is there any way uh, for me, as a user, uh, to uh, to be sure that uh, published version of? Uh, uh, open source software is uh, the same version uh, you published on your web server, or mm -hmm. it can, or it can be, or it can have uh, some private tree, which uh, have some backdoors. Or For sure. Some sure, it's uh, tricky one. Uh, to be honest, uh, we thought how to do this, we, we didn't get. So, okay, uh, I can publish my uh, CI CTs, but you again uh, cannot be sure that it is what is used. If there will be some idea how, how to do this, we will do this. That's true. That's true. This is the limitation of the whole idea. I cannot give you, you know, a route to the production. <laughs> just, <laughs> just an idea. If, 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 if you write slash explore, you will see the code. If you like interested in contribution, you're welcome. Uh, if, if you write slash explore, you'll see the code. If you want to contribute, uh, as, as I said, we don't have much cases for that. Uh, we didn't manage the process how, how to grant access. Uh, maybe, but uh, there is one idea what, why it probably won't work. Uh, because uh, the main uh, parties who we expected to contribute, they all have access. So marketplaces, uh, these uh, activists and so on, they have access, but they don't do anything. 
more questions in just a moment. Uh, he was uh, a little bit faster. Uh, have you thought that uh, only access uh, to the code is not sufficient for uh, users to contribute? Uh, sometimes uh, it's hard to get into a project and uh, it, it requires uh, much effort just to uh, do something. So uh, you need probably some uh, knowledge management in place so users could, uh, can, be, can be eased in into contributing. Uh, how do you approach this? Uh, we currently working on documentation for developers. So if you open the repo, you won't see like everything described, but we have actually one guy sitting just and, and describing all of that to make uh, like uh, a point of entry easier for, for everyone. Yes, it's, it's not easy to understand. It takes, I don't know, for a regular middle developer at least a week to understand what, what, what's going on. Uh, we are working through the documentation. Uh, more questions? Yeah, Anton. <laughs> I have déjà vu. <laughs> Please. Thank you very much for, uh, for your talk. Uh, could you please comment on a um, suggestion, maybe a bit, of, bit common suggestion uh, circulating about such kind of software uh, regard, uh, developed for the sake of government, for the, for the good of uh, for government? Actually, the, uh, that uh, one says uh, sometimes that uh, government uh, having uh, strict budget limitations uh, f for spending money for something, in particular for such things, uh, is hard to uh, recruit reasonable developers who are good enough to do their job just because the salaries of, uh, of the market salaries are much higher than the salaries that the government is available to pay to people. Uh, regarding to their limitations, mm -hmm. uh, and so that uh, such software is developed by anybody else, and you can't expect uh, the proper quality. Could you please comment on this yeah, sure. issue? Sure. Thank so, you. Uh, thank you for the question. Very good one. Uh, first, um, we are not uh, like a state entity. We are state-owned enterprise, which makes us available to play with the. Uh, with the salaries. I mean, we, we can pay more than $1,000 uh, for proper uh, position. Uh, but uh, you're right that uh, the market, uh, I mean, labor market is uh, running up and uh, uh, there is lack of developers itself, salaries are uh, uh, increasing and so on. Uh, so what we uh, did, uh, how, how we actually work, we are a product company. We are actually not a development company. We decide uh, how it should be designed, we analyze, we write uh, all the documentation, we uh, manage development process, uh, we uh, have uh, quality assurance on board, but uh, the development itself is outsourced. So uh, we have dedicated teams, uh, which uh, gives us uh, an opportunity, an option to, to pay proper money for, for the developers, because when we work with old source, we don't have all these limitations. That, that's how it's organized. Uh, okay. Uh, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, okay. <laughs> we have one more question. Actually, two. Please. At least one more. Uh, thanks. S thanks. Uh, uh, maybe it was mentioned before, but uh, what about to uh, help to adopt Prozora to other countries? Maybe you have some cases when you sell Prozora to other countries which want to have the same solution as we have, to have more money for development and make more <laughs> better products. Yeah, it's actually it's our ambitions not to sell because uh, you can take the code uh, today, but uh, to uh, sell some consultancy and some implementation services. Uh, we work on this. Uh, we started before COVID, and as you understand, now uh, it, it doesn't go further. But I guess in next years uh, you'll hear something about Prozoro sale dot I don't know Uzbekistan, for example. Um, yeah. The, 
There is the question. Oh. Where did you get um, such a tremendous amounts of hands? <laughs> I know that each one usually has two or some similar amount, but... Uh, hi. Uh, first question. Uh, what is uh, the difference between Prozoro and Prozoro sale? It wasn't very clear. Okay. Uh, Prozoro, our uh, colleagues from another company, they run tenders. So when uh, government wants, country wants buy something, they go to Prozoro. Uh, when uh, the country has something to sell, they come to us and we do auctions. So uh, you can sell for, I don't know, Ministry of Foreign Affairs some, uh, some development services and then you can, uh, at Prozoro sale, buy some, some building or some land and uh, use it for your reasons. And uh, um uh, are you affiliated with uh, the government in any way, or are you a separate uh, company, or how, how does it work? Uh, we are owned by Ministry of Economics, so they, they, are, uh, they have 100% of, uh, our, of our company. Okay, thank you. Ho, ho, ho. Not really. We, uh, we are speaking about uh, integration between each other now, but I guess uh, it is uh, the history of uh, mid-2022 or so, not today. Yes. Yes, and in different ministries. Do you need a microphone? No? no? <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, great thing. Oh, no. No, great, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Please. Hey, um, thanks for your uh, speech here. I wanted to ask, uh, what kind of uh, what kind of license are you using? Because uh, uh, good one. Uh, we use uh, uh, Apache uh, 2.0, and to be honest, uh, there is a full mess around it because uh, it is used like historically because first developer used it, and uh, our lawyers said, "Okay, we will use it forever." And uh, this is my homework to uh, like uh, clarify which license will be better. Pro probably not this one. Uh, yeah. So you uh, can you guarantee that if I wanted to use this piece of software, you don't uh, revoke the license? Like uh, Mr. Stalin brought an interesting point, and it's that uh, the MIT licenses you can actually technically uh, like take that away if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, uh, there is a place to work uh, on the license and because uh, you will uh, follow me with any question about license for now. <laughs> I saw a hand here. No? No? Okay. Uh, I saw one more hand. Do you still want to ask something? Please. Uh, thank you for your talk. Um, why don't you just use uh, GNU general public uh, license? <laughs> or, or even a GNU affair general public license? Uh, I promise that till the end of next year we will clarify all the questions about licensing and we will have good position for answering this question. For now I'm not ready to be honest. Thank you once again for the speaker. Thank you. Thank you.